What's up guys and welcome back to House Flipper. I know this series is not going anywhere. I know it's been a couple of days, dude. I was just I was I was going on that cruise, which I can't wait to bring you guys vlogs. I've been dealing with those. I've had, you know, NBA 2K come out, all the Fortnite stuff going on. I had my birthday in the middle of all of it, so I was busy with that, man. It, it's been crazy, but uh, we're back. You guys really enjoyed those couple of episodes with Chell, so I think we're going to have to bring her back on the channel soon, especially for this series. And uh, man, I just discovered something pretty groundbreaking. I didn't know this was a thing. I mean, we I, I've literally been complaining about this the entire Let's Play and even complained about it with Chels that the images and the paintings and stuff in game, number one, there weren't enough of them. Number two, they weren't big enough. Well, there's actually something you can do about that. So that's what we're gonna be looking at today. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into our browser. I'm looking for the house that is hiding something just cause it's a small house. And uh, ooh, number of floors two. Does it have a bunker or something? I don't know. We're gonna buy this thing. Uh, the only problem is, is for this new feature that I want to start using, we're gonna need some money because it does, it gets a little bit expensive. So I wanted to get this because I know we can make some money from this. So hold on, can we, can we use our mop to clean off the graffiti? Oh, we can, nice, okay. I was gonna say, are we gonna have to paint over it? Or can we just use our mop? So this thing was graffitied all over. That's kind of unfortunate. Got to clean the window from the other side. But we're going to we're going to do a, a hot fix on this thing real quick. And uh And then we're going to sell it, get some money and and kind of see where we want to go next. Oh, this thing is small. This is way smaller than I thought. It said that it's hiding something and I'm pretty sure there's a secret wall that you can break open and it has like a painting in it or something that you can sell for a lot of money. I'm not sure. That's that's according to you guys in the comments. You said there's something like that here. So I, I literally don't even see it on the minimap. We'll see if you guys ended up trolling me. It's I mean, it's gotta be here, right? It wouldn't be called the house that's hiding something otherwise. But yeah, we're gonna clean this place up quick and then I'm gonna show you guys an insane new feature that I'm so excited about. I like, I kind of want to tell you guys right now, but part of me wants to kind of like save it and, and really surprise you. I don't know. We'll, we'll see. I'm not going to hold out on you guys too long, but it's seriously, it's going to be a game changer. 100%. So I'm going to go through, I'm going to mop everything up. I'm going to spackle the walls, get everything in ship shape, clean all the windows. And uh, I'll see you guys here in just one second. Oh, oh yeah. That's it right there. Are you kidding me? There's a whole room right here that you can't even see. Hold on a second. Okay, that's what I was looking for and I just never really noticed it. All right, we're good, we're good, we're good. There's supposed to be something hiding behind here. Some of you guys kind of spoiled it for me in the comments a few episodes ago. I still don't know what to expect. I know there's a painting of some sort, but we're gonna knock down this whole thing before we get a peek and we'll just see, see what happens. It should be interesting. Should we just knock all this out? Why not? Leave a big open space. I'm getting really curious now, dude. We're gonna make the basement like a cool hangout chill room. Oh! Oh, and there's a Van Gogh painting. Okay, holy cow. There's a golden chair. A dresser and then a Van Gogh painting. How much can we sell these for? $981.74. $123.14. Are you kidding me, dude? Should we pick it up and move? Should we keep it? I kind of feel like you want to keep something like this, dude. Just kidding. We're selling this thing. See ya. I'll take that money, baby. Oh my goodness, that is amazing. And now we have a wide open basement. All right, I like that. I like that house flipper. We need we need more little Easter eggs and stuff like that. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Dude, this is a small house. So we've got a bedroom, a really odd looking bedroom, set up bedroom. We've got a basement and then we've, uh, we've got kind of like a living room, kitchen and a bathroom. All right. So this thing's fairly small, man. I 
I was not expecting it to be this small. I'm gonna knock this wall out and just kind of back it up one so it's a plain box that we have here. I feel like it's really dumb to, to have that extra space there, so we'll just put walls like this. All right, so the bathroom's a straight box. This is gonna be kitchen area. Not really a whole lot we can do with this. This is gonna be the bedroom. Okay, I can deal with this. All right, so we're gonna be a little bit more serious upstairs. I'm not gonna take too much time because this is such a small house. It's time we graduate to the big boy houses. I wanna do a two-story house, probably with Chels, if you guys wanna see her back. But I just, I wanted to check out this new feature and it's gonna set us up perfectly for, for future episodes if we do do a bigger house and, and kind of take it a little bit more seriously. But we'll, we'll get to that downstairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean that. Let's clean this. Got that, all right. Um, what should we do in here? What kind of colors do you guys think? What do we wanna, I, we're gonna, I, we're kind of limited with options. Uh, the kitchen's gonna have to be very, very small. Maybe something like this. What color scheme do we wanna go with though is the question. The thing is, there just aren't really a, like, if you go with the black and the white, you're just kind of going with a pretty, a pretty modern looking kitchen. Hmm. See, we don't really have enough space for, for most of these. Hanging cupboard. We don't even have space for that, do we? I'm trying to figure out how we can get a lot of, yeah, we don't have close to enough space. Not even remotely close. Um, this is a small space. I mean, really, I, I, I think we go with one of these. I think we have to go with something like this. We're gonna change up the colors a little bit though. Let's go with the cream. Does the top have to be black? I guess we can go with cream though. I'd say we put the uh, the stove underneath there and then one on the end and then we can have a, a fridge here. It'll be kind of blocking the window a little bit, but that's all right. Okay, so now we're gonna go to um, home appliances. We definitely want that electric cooker. Fits in pretty nicely, not gonna lie. I kind of feel like, I feel like I want it centered more though. I feel like we should have one, one more cabinet in there. One more little cabinet guy. It's kind of weird, some of these the cream is turning the top black and some is, are turning it gray. I really don't, I don't know what to say about that. All right, so that's nice and centered. You can kind of do your thing, cook while you're looking outside, I like that. Now we're gonna need a fridge. So we're gonna go back to home appliances. Like I said, guys, I'm not, I'm, I'm not getting super, super in depth with this one. We're gonna make it look good, but it's not even like we really have much space to work with anyway. So we've got that. Definitely gonna want a little dining table right here. Man, we really don't. Maybe we wanna, do we wanna move the fridge over here since there's a little bit more space? Probably. Leaves us a little bit more space over here for the dining table. Actually, we probably, probably want one, one more shelving thing on the end. You just want enough, I mean, counter space is important. Can't really skimp on counter space. All right, so that's not bad. I mean, it's small, but it's gonna get the job done. Now for a, uh, a table, we're gonna want a nice, simple table. Legs, black, cherry, nut, probably nut. Uh, I want the top to be dark black. That's not really dark black. Kind of a big table for a small space, but I mean, maybe we push it all the way against the wall and it's just a, like a two person table. I don't know. There's just not really gonna be a whole lot we can do with this space. It's not like we can set up a living room in here. We aren't gonna have nearly enough room. 
I guess that's what the downstairs is for, though. So let's just set this up as like a legit big dining table. All right, for chairs, um, like I said, we're we're not going we're not going too hard here. Do we want just white chairs? The chair more, or do we want something more like the engulf, where we could go with the gray? Or should we go with more of like a beach to kind of match the cabinets? That doesn't look bad. That kind of keeps the vibe going a little bit. All right, I like it. I like it. I like it. Throw these in here. That doesn't look too bad. You know, I guess we could add a couple more in. We don't. We don't need to be heathens. We can have places for our guests to eat too. Go ahead and set it up like that. All right. I mean, it's it's tiny. It's cramped. I'm not in love with it. But we're making do with what we got. I almost feel like, do we just center this? Cause like, I, I keep wanting to put like a TV in this corner or something, but like, dude, there's not gonna be any space to, to hang out. I almost, I almost feel like we kind of move the table over here and, and open up the corner a little bit, put like a tree in the corner or whatever. I don't know. No matter, really no matter where the table is, it kind of blocks off the, uh, the access to the sliding door. I guess we'll leave it here. We'll just we'll put a giant plant in this corner. I don't know. Like I said, I, I've really been looking forward to getting into some of the bigger, some of the bigger uh, bigger homes, just because we're gonna have a lot more that we can do with them. And uh, obviously, if Chelsea's there, she's gonna be able to help us out big time. So yeah, that's. I mean, that's not bad. It's it's not my favorite. It is kind of small and cramped, but that's what you get when you buy such a small house. So that's. That's okay. We gotta pick out paint colors, though. What kind of a color do we want to go with here? What if we went with like a brown? Since we have the light brown and the black, would a brown look bad? Could be kind of interesting. It's not the stark white that we're doing a lot of. I don't know, dude. Paint colors are sometimes it's kind of hard. Chelsea in that one episode, she killed it, man. She came up with that red out of nowhere. I never would have thought of that as a color, and it totally worked. That's why we gotta keep her around. Let's see how this is working. That's not bad. Nice little mocha color. I like it. Definitely gonna have to have to get some accessories that kind of pop the colors a little bit in terms of like little trinkets on the the counters and stuff. But dude, this can work. I actually really like the floors that were already in here. Dude, this is a cozy home. I, I like the color we're going with here. This is like, I don't know, I feel like this has to be up in the woods somewhere with these really dark, soothing colors. I like it a lot. All right, we're gonna buy a second, a second can of paint here. Let's finish coming around this way. Like I say we do that really big, super soft, plush looking bed and we make this Almost like a, a log cabin type deal, even though it's in the middle of the burbs, but still, you guys get the idea. All right, so I'm gonna set this as soon as you walk in the door. Put this in the middle. This could probably be a little bit more this way. Yeah, dude, this, this looks nice. This is working for me. These don't really match, but we're gonna leave them. I'm all right with it. So yeah, this this is good. I, I respect this. Hold on. We, uh... Need a little bit more paint right in here. I don't like seeing that outside color. All right, so we got it. So moving into the bedroom, like I said for the bed, dude, this this is like my dream bed. This one in here, right here, the teddy, double bed teddy. It's gonna take up almost the entire room, but dude, tell me that is not a spot to Netflix and chill. That looks so, so comfy, dude. Holy cow. All right, so um, we've got that. What kind of color do we want to go with in here? Do we want to keep, the, I almost feel like we keep the brown. Is that too much? Is that too much of the same vibe? I, how's it gonna look behind the bed? Let's see. We could do an accent wall if we wanted to pop a little bit of color. But I feel like if we're going for that, that woodsy, eh. It is, hold on. 
I'm gonna go through and paint all the walls. Maybe we'll do a different accent wall behind the bed. I do kind of feel like it's a bit boring, but we'll see how it looks when we're done. So with the lights off, it definitely looks a little boring, but uh, check out my mahogany wood chandelier here. Kind of adds to the vibe a little bit. I, I like it, dude. I, I It's just, it's so chill. It's very neutral and, and like I said, we can add some uh, some fun variation in terms of like, I mean, once, once we throw a TV on the wall, that's gonna add a little bit of color. So we'll do a hanging TV on the wall. Why would you want your TV to hang crooked like that? So we've got a TV on the wall. Um, let's go ahead and keep the lights on as well. I mean, we, we could do pictures. We could do, we definitely need a wardrobe of some sort. What's it called? A cupboard? See, like, dude, this, this fits the bill, man. This fits our look. We just need some, like, animals hanging on the walls and stuff. You know what I mean? This is just such a co cozy, cozy space. Let's see what we have for carpets. We definitely need... Hmm... Not seeing anything I love. Something like this wouldn't be awful. Kind of ties in with the yellows a little bit. The red kind of throws it off some, but or I guess do we want to center it in the room. I was just thinking like a giant bearskin rug or something, dude. That would be that would be nice. Yeah, I don't. I didn't mind it under the bed, but I don't love it out there in the middle. We need like. Flowers, orange, black flower. Yeah, I'm not... <sighs> That's way too small. That could have potentially worked. I'm not... I, I just want something big and plush and comfortable. We don't really have anything like that. The classic pattern kind of goes. But it also kind of makes... Makes it feel a bit old. Let's go ahead and sell that. I don't know. It's not bad. Kind of a pretty basic room here. But I like it. Dude, we need... To, oh, that, that horse painting. Hold on. Pictures and paintings. The horse painting. The brown horse painting. Where is it? Did I pass it? Yeah, I'm chilling on a dirt road. So we've got that. But I want the horse... Yes, this. Wild Rush. If we could make this a lot bigger... And it could take up that whole that whole wall. <laughs> That's kind of the vibe I'm going for, dude. This is like a country ranch or a log cabin or whatever you want to go with. That doesn't look bad. I, I don't I don't mind it. We could definitely add a little bit more. I mean obviously curtains. Uh, curtains and blinds can always always make something happen with that. Magenta's not gonna work. Brown stripes. Real. Man, I'm not, I mean, probably just brown, right? I was gonna say, I'm not really seeing anything that I love here. We're really going with the brown vibe this time around. I don't even know what you would call it, but it, it, it's cozy. Go ahead and throw these on here. Tell me this isn't a room you would come in and just chill in. You know what I mean? Like it, it could use like a little computer desk in the corner or something if you wanted. But this this is just such a chill. Just ah, uh, I would love to hang out in here and and you know, cold winter day outside, get a cup of hot chocolate and just chill in here. I totally could, dude. I feel like the area under that we need like a TV hutch or like a a TV stand. What are they even? Is that in the cupboards? Hanging TV cabinet. Oh, we could do the, the chest of drawers underneath it. We don't want the Venge though. We want more of like a... Like a dark cherry. It's not the perfect color, color match, but it's pretty good. All right. I like it. Looks good to me. We're going to call that done. So we've got our, our, our little area out here. We definitely, I mean, we need that wild rush out here. Again, we need to make it bigger, but I'm telling you guys, we got that new feature coming. So we're, we're going to be all right. So we've got that there. We honestly, we should do, we should do a table out here. I, 
I don't want to take too much time with this, and technically all this money we're spending right now is, is to no avail, because you don't really get paid back um, from the people buying it for putting more extra love into it. But I also, I don't want to leave this with like an ugly, an ugly deal, you know what I mean? Like it's gotta, it's gotta be nice. Oh, that is a big freaking table. I'm looking for a small brown table. Nut, pine, Mahonia. I feel like a Mahonia table looks good there. And then we need, uh, we need some plants on there for sure. Some of these pots. Yeah. And then we need a picture on there. Pictures and paintings. We need a, a picture of our cat. That's my cat. Right there. Boom. Done. Sprinkle some magic dust on it. Looks great. Doesn't really match the colors as perfectly as I would like. That's all right. Definitely need something in this corner. I, dude, I have no... What would you even put here? I have no idea. I mean, we could do kind of the same idea and put a little like sitting table with some stuff on it, but I don't want to just do the same thing twice. What would you even put here? I'm looking for any, any sort of inspiration. I mean, you, you could put a computer desk here. Like a family computer desk. I mean, if somebody's... Is that too weird? It's just a big space with no use. I'm not against it. Let's go for it, dude. I remember when I was younger, I had like a family computer that, that you know, you were, couldn't do anything bad on the computer because it was all being looked at by everybody all the time. You know what I mean? Um... Plus, if this is like a, a home out in the country, you're not really going to be on the computer that much anyway. This doesn't really make a ton of sense, but dude, we're just, we're going to roll with it. And there's just such a big space there. Like, it, I don't think it looks bad. I don't think it's necessary, but I don't know what else we would put there. So we'll roll with it. All right. What kind of a bathroom do we want is the question. I think we're going to continue on with the, um... The floor panels. I think we're going to keep the same stuff. I do like that a lot. That's not the same stuff. That's... Uh, is that the same stuff? I think it's the same stuff. I just think this stuff is worn a little bit. Which one do I like better though? That's the question. I kind of like the worn look, if I'm being honest. Like, that looks nice. All right, whatever. Anyway, we're in here. So what do we got? They got a, uh, a sink, a toilet, and that's it. No shower? I mean, what the? Yo, boy. Boy, you best stop. What the heck is going on? Dude, that's been glitching out lately. And every time it does that, the windows become unclean, so we're not gonna fix that. And then sometimes the colors of stuff that you choose get changed up. Like that was not that color. Um, this was not that color. That's kind of frustrating. Yeah, none of, none of these were these colors. Look at all this, dude. Took all of our hard work. Dude, that, it happened a couple times in the episode with Chelsea. All right, you know what? You know what, man? We're just, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you a toilet and then we're going downstairs. We're, it, that, that just makes me so mad when that happens. I don't, I don't know what I do that makes it happen. It's just kind of like a random error, but it's like all that work that I just put in to make this look nice. Like why would I even care now? Cause you just changed everything on me. So we're just going to put some, put some quick odds and ends in this bathroom. And then we're going to get down to the main point that I wanted to point out. Because it's, uh, it's going to make it a little bit more personal of a series, which I think is cool. And then we're also going to be able to put some really much better themed um, paintings and, and stuff on the walls. So basically, I'm sure you guys, a lot of you guys probably know, you could do custom images in this 
for your paintings. Like you can put in custom images and like create custom stuff. It looks it looks really really cool. All right, let's um let's hurry up and do this. We're going to go for uh wall tiles. Um I say we just stick with this brown theme. This is going to take a moment to get done, but I'll see you guys in a second. You know, I really don't know why I'm doing this. Like I said, I mean, we're just we're going to sell this house. <laughs> Everything has already been tarnished that we were working on so far, and I'm... Screw it, dude. I'm sitting here putting these things on the wall. I, I just, I like this game, dude, if you want me to be honest. Like, even though the main point of this video, I wanted to, I wanted to get downstairs, I have a funny idea of what we're gonna do. This is just like, it's, it's awesome, man. It's so relaxing, it's so chill, it's so different. I'm glad you guys like it so much. I definitely want to do a, uh, I want to do a few two-story houses. I don't want this series to become over, overdone though. I mean, we have a ton of games that are about to come out. Really excited to start up Spider-Man here soon. Really excited about um, NBA that's going to be coming out. We're going to be hitting that hard. Then of course we have like the Blackout Beta. We've got uh, Battlefield Beta. We've got all the big games coming out in September and October. So like. I don't know. I've got a feeling that this series eventually in the next couple weeks is going to kind of slow down a little bit. As they come out with new DLC and stuff, we will definitely be hitting it, but I think it's going to become a little bit less, a uh, little bit less common. I'm definitely going to do a couple remodels with Chels, and then a lot of you guys really like the idea of doing Sims with Chels as well, so she's not going anywhere, but um, I don't know. I decided, like, I have so much fun with this, I don't want to play it into the ground where you guys are like, oh, this isn't that fun anymore. You're doing the same things over and over. You're making the same modern looking house over and over, you know what I mean? So, like, I want to wait until we get fresh stuff that keeps it fresh, is kind of my plan. We'll see, we'll see how that ends up working, but this is, uh, this is a very interesting bathroom, to say the least. I don't think we're going to put a shower in it. <laughs> These people gonna stink. I mean, yeah, let's let's put a tub in it, dude. I'm down for a tub. We don't make too many tubs. I'm doing a manual bathtub. Oh, we need to put in the thing though. Installations. Bathtub. Just gonna throw it right there. Go back to the store, buy this bad boy. Dude, this could have been a really good look. I kind of like what we were going with here. I wasn't sure what I was going with off the start, but it was like a modern mixed with a log cabin, like, you know, country home. That'd be a cool, a cool kind of setup to do. We should think about doing that in the future when we're actually like thinking about it from the start and taking it serious. I think that'd be fun. All right, our tub's done, looks good. Let's get freaky deaky. And put some mirrors up above it, dude. Can we put mirrors on the ceiling? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> that would have been awesome. I'm gonna do that and then let's do uh, a double bathroom sconce up above the mirror. Yes, slay. This is the spot to take a bath. All right, looks good to me. Okay, so that's our upstairs. I think it looks good. Bathroom turned out pretty cool. I, it, it's different, but it's good for this type of a house. I wish all these wouldn't have changed colors. We would have had a much better, better vibe going, but I like what we're working with. I think it turned out good. Now, what we're gonna be doing, the main point, Oh, it even changed the curtains, dude. That makes me so sad. The main point is we are gonna be going downstairs and we are gonna be setting up a creepy shrine, all right? Here we go, guys. So I'm gonna say for floor, floor panels and coverings, I'm gonna do like a light pine down here. Do a light pine all the way across. I say we, Let's grab those sconces again. I'm looking for like the royal sconce. Okay. 
Okay. So I'm gonna set these up every couple. This is gonna be really weird. <laughs> you guys probably have no idea what I'm doing right now. Like what my plan is, but this is this is gonna be great. Oops. So we've got uh, we've got six on that side. That last one got a little bit away from me. And we're gonna do six on this side. Hopefully they're about the same level, same distance. I'm not too worried about it. One more. Feel like we did pretty well. Uh, oh wait, we need one more. Turn on the light switch. All right, the shrine's looking good so far. We need some lamps though. Let's get some of these oriental looking, kind of creepy feng shui looking lamps. I don't even know what that means, but we're gonna go for it. We're just gonna make like a line. Get this as creepy as possible. Set those up like that. I don't think the double the double light lights were necessary, but we're gonna go for it. All right. And the shrine is gonna be on this wall. Now the question is, what's gonna be on the wall, boys? Well, if you go in here and you go to your gallery, you can add a new image to the gallery. And I'm hoping this doesn't make my recording or anything. Oh gosh. Are we getting choppy? I can't, I can't tell. Sometimes this game messes up. Give me one second, I'm gonna be right back. We've got Coop here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a photo from the image. We're gonna get him to max height. That's gonna cost me $3,166, but we're gonna go ahead and buy it. Oh my God. Oh my God. There is no way. I did not know. I did not know they were gonna be that big. These are costing me three grand a piece, but it takes up the entire wall. Oh, Chelsea's gonna be so excited about this. How do I get Koda on there? Hold on. Koda won't fit. Let's make Koda a little bit smaller. He's the big boy anyway. Will he not fit? Hold on, let me sell this thing. Oh, that's why. That's a stupid thing. All right, let's go back. Koda, we're getting you max height throw. Floor to ceiling, Koda action. Oh my god. <laughs> Chels, are you out here? I'm just gonna delete all these. I feel like these were unnecessary. And we gotta we gotta move these, we gotta center them. This is so ridiculous. But yeah, so it's like it's funny because we can put some weird funny pictures like this in here, but it's also good because we could get some like actually good looking artwork or take like cool graffiti and make like a cool modern hip graffiti house. We could take like actual real life artwork and, and upload it and, and kind of build a house around it, which I think could be kind of cool. Dude, look at the whiskers on him. Look at the detail. All right, I, I gotta go get Chelsea one sec. Baby, you aren't gonna believe this. What? So our house flipper game? Yeah. I found out you can upload custom images. You can make your own. That, like paintings pictures? and like choose a side. Could you hear me when you're out there? No. Are you ready for this? Look at the detail. You can see the whiskers. Oh my god. Look at that angry face. Look at the eye bug. <laughs> Look at that wet nose. <laughs> Look at that face! Look at these faces! That's They're so, so cute. cute! I want those in our real house. So do I. This is so amazing. Cute. Oh my god. Don't scare anybody who walked down the stairs. Cooper's just like... I made him a little shrine. That's their shrine. It's the shrine to Coop and Koda. That's I feel cute. like I can't sell this house anymore. Look at Koda's little face. <laughs> Oh all right, guys, so there you all have it. I'm very excited about this feature. If you guys want to see Chels come back and help me decorate a two-story house, please let me know. Your boy kind of needs a little bit of help sometimes, and uh, she's got a good eye. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sorry if it got a little bit laggy throughout. I don't know how long this has been lagging. My face cam's lagging. The other stuff's not. 
at least on my preview screen. So, I don't know. I'm going to see you guys later. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace out.